Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 21 of Let's Play Pokemon Emerald, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, at the Pokemon Center in Falibor Town, there seems to be a woman that's staring really close to the computer. Oh, hello! You are... Okay, your name's Bonga. I can see that you're a trainer. So that means you use the Pokemon storage system I developed. How I arrived at that conclusion is a simple deductive process. You spoke to me because you wanted to access something on this PC. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Lynette. Honestly, I'm glad to meet you. It's great you're using the storage system. If you could, please visit me at home. My house is on Route 114. Um, okay, or Route 114. Whatever way you want to say it. Okay, let's try out this battle tent. What's the gimmick here? You know how battle tents offer different events in different towns? My favorite is definitely the battle tent in Falorbor Town. I think it's fantastic how trainers try to win with all their faith in their Pokemon. As they should. Woohoo! I'm gonna make everyone think I'm just a kid and let them play down. Then I'll shock them and grab the title. Or you'll just lose because you're an ignorant kid. I heard something about some tent, so I came to camp out. I didn't know that tents these days are so luxurious. Since I'm here, I might as well try my hand at battling. Hi, Bonga. So you came out to this battle tent. The people in these parts tend to be easygoing and laid back. But you see, what I'm looking for are people with... How should I say this? Someone bursting with the desire and the drive to win. If there were a trainer like that, I'd immediately... Whoops, never mind. Keep working at it. This guy's weird. Ah, the set KO tourney. Do tell what that's about. In the Falibor Battle Tent, we undertake the set KO tourney. All participants enter with a team of three Pokemon. The three Pokemon must be lined up in the order that they are to appear in. During battle, the Pokemon will appear one at a time in the preset order. Once a Pokemon enters battle, it must remain out until the match is decided. If a Pokemon remains un or match remains undecided in three turns, it goes to judging. If you wish to interrupt your challenge, sure, why not? Okay, three Pokemon to start with. I think I'll start with Majin Buu and go with Caesar. And finally, KFC. Okay, fair enough. Alright, let's try this out. Hopefully I won't run into a demented sailor like last time. The World Superpower Stop Contest! What? What does that even mean? This guy is clearly out of his mind! Oh, horrible choice, my friend. Commence battling. Okay. Hyper voice? I think I won this round. Graveler. Alright, let's go. Rock Smash first. Oh good, I lowered the defense. Rock Blast? Good thing it's not very effective. Uh, let's see if he can stay alive for this one. I don't think he will though. Okay, good. And I can hit another vital throw. Hmm, still alive. I'll just use Rock Smash again. Okay, now you're down. Uh, Loudred. Okay, so you're clearly also a normal type. I'm gonna try Fake Out. Oh, remember, that's not exactly the first move of the battle. So, that obviously didn't work. I guess Caesar will have to take over. 
I mean, clearly it's in my favor. Hmm, I'll start with wing attack. Hopefully he doesn't come from behind and totally upset me. That would suck. Stomp. Okay, and one Pokemon left. That's okay, type advantage. Perfect. I give up! You're number one! Damn right I am! Get used to it! I'll go back and take your pills. Yeah, I'm ready. You don't think very fast, huh? This is not about thinking, okay? Well, in a way, it kinda is, but I don't care about thinking. Hmm... I can see myself having a bit of difficulty in this part. Let me start with a fake out. Oh, prevents flinching. That's crap. Great, now I'm confused. Looks like I could be at a disadvantage here. I mean, I could switch out, yes, but... I don't think the other Pokemon are going to be much help, either. Oh god, it's that bad?! Like, the health bar didn't even move! Okay, good thing I got on mind. Ooh. Ah, crap. And it just faints instantly. Alright, let's see how this goes. Yeah, supersonic. Of course that wouldn't work on the first try. I'll have to wing attack then. Miss! Oh, right, the double team. Speaking of which... Oh great, all three of my moves missed. Yep, I lost. Uh, this could not go well. I gotta try something. That's a critical. Yeah, I can see myself losing here. No big deal. But why not try? I'm getting critical hits all the time. Let's see how this goes. Nice. Nice. Perfect. But man, that was only one Pokemon he lost now. I'm down to my third one already. Oh, oh great. Yeah, that, that's gonna be fun. Yeah, thanks a lot. Uh, he may not get a chance to smack me. I might as well just keep trying. Yep, I lost.
Sorry, I didn't mean you. Huh? I'm pretty sure you meant me. We're the only ones fighting. These people are strange. Speaking of strange... Well, maybe you should retire. Fossil Maniac's house. Fossils gratefully accepted. Uh-huh. My, my big brother's a fossil maniac. He's a nice guy who loves fossils. He loves digging holes, too. He dug this hole by himself. You can have this, so you can dig holes just like my big brother. Ah, oh, thanks, dig. I'm actually gonna need that move for later, so I'm gonna try not to use it. Or the TM, anyway. Hey, you okay, man? I'm the Fossil Maniac. I'm a nice guy who loves fossils. Do you want a fossil? But the fossils around these parts all belong to me, not for you. If you can't bear to go without a fossil, look in a desert where there are boulders and sand that may hide fossils. Okay. Unfortunately, I cannot go to the desert yet. I mean, I will later, but obviously not now. Uh, since you're a fisherman... Oh yeah. I like to fish, but I also like to battle. If anyone challenges me, I'm there. Even if I'm fishing. Damn hiccups. Okay, Mr. Fisherman, what you got? Barboach. Uh, then again, an electric type may not be such a good idea. Unless I use Quick Attack. Oh, crap. It does have a ground move. Yep, I'm gonna have to switch. Mm, go with... KFC, I suppose. No, wait, that's Mirage. Never mind. I'm actually better off going with Mirage. I mean, I meant to hit Mirage and then use the wrong name. That's what I meant. I wouldn't put in a fire type against a water type. That'd just be stupid. There, I win. I like to battle. That doesn't mean I'm good at it. I see. All my Pokemon does is roar. No one dares to come near me. Well, uh, if you would, please take this TM away. I believe that's Roar. I'm not gonna use it. Let's see what else is here. Hmm, let me see if I got the right setup. I think Overdrive and the Rock should do fine. Me? I'm not just a pretty face. No, you're just a tight ass. I landed a big one! A huge one, I tell ya! You seem pretty excited! Well, then I guess I'm just gonna have to bring you down. Charlotte and Kai, Newsleaf, and Barboach. I hate Barboach already. And he's gonna use Water Gun. So basically, my entire team is not good to use. Bring in Majin Buu. And for the rocks replacement, I'll go with Mirage. That should be better. Mud Sports and Nature Power that turns to Swift. Okay, so I should do a little bit better here. I'll go with Vital Throw on you and Confusion on you. Water sport. Now fire's power is weakened. Not that it matters, I'm not using fire. Nice jab. Uh, rock smash and confusion. There we go. Ah, 
That wasn't cute in the least! What was that about? Did mine lose in size? Nope, it lost in skill and virtually everything else. Energy powder. Eh, it's not good. For me, anyway. I wouldn't use it. If we were fishing, you wouldn't stand a chance against me. So bring on your Pokemon. It better not be another Barboach. All good as a Magikarp. Okay, then I don't have to switch. Good. Uh, now you're gonna use Barboach again. And I'll just bring in Majin Buu instead. Okay, fair enough. Nine! Ooh, crap. Okay, that one wasn't too bad. That was gonna be worse than that. Uh, Goldeen. Okay, Overdrive can finish off this battle. See? If we were fishing, I would have won. Yeah, but we're not fishing, and I only got one ride. I need to exercise after a meal. Let's have a match. Sure, I guess. Might as well. Nancy. Uh, level 18 Meryl. Okay, Lombre. I still don't need to switch. See? Easy enough. Level 26. Oh no! Oh yes! Oh yes! It's evolving. This I like. Now I got a manic trick of my own. Oh yeah! Time to kick some ass. Okay, is there anything in these rocks? Nope. A ah, Swablu! Let me try to catch it. Just a little quick attack. And one more. Okay, good. I didn't faint it. Alright, let's see what happens. I'm pretty sure I caught it. Yep, I got it. Okay, a Pokemon that has wings like cottony clouds. After enduring winter, in which little food is available, Swablu flocks move closer to towns in the spring. Okay, fair enough. Ah, this is Lynette's house. Wow, you got a lot of computers. Oh, Banga! I'm sorry everything is so cluttered. When I get engrossed in research, things end up this way. This is embarrassing. Please keep this a secret in exchange for this. A Lotad doll? Um, sure, I won't tell everybody. Sign boxes hold 30 Pokemon each. Each trainer should be able to store 420 Pokemon. Marking systems should be added to make Pokemon easier to organize. The name and wallpaper design of each box should be made changeable to please the stored Pokemon. When storing a Pokemon, it should be sent to the box inspected last. When the box is full, the received Pokemon is stored in the next box. In other words, when a box is examined, it is automatically selected as the box to which Pokemon are sent. Oh, it's time to read someone's emails. A lot of user-friendly features make it fun and useful, too. I'm guessing this is Bill. Yep, it's Bill. Remember, he made the original Pokemon storage system. Remember back in the old days, if you had, like, 20 Pokemon in a box, that you practically had to go change the boxes manually? Oh, Raspberry? Okay. Eh. Oh, what? 
Man, I'm tired of people telling me everything about their lives. What am I, a therapist? But anyways, I'm going to stop the video right here, and next part we'll head over through that cave over there. Oh, let's check the map. Where am I at? Route 114. Then I should work my way down, and hopefully I'll get to Meteor Falls, wherever that is. It's probably nearby. What is the name of the next cave, anyway? Actually, I think Meteor Falls could be over there. Stay tuned for the next part. See ya.